Can I safely say breaking news? Longwe Twala and his brother's case has been postponed until the 12th of September 2024 for verification of bail information and the appointment of a legal aid lawyer. That was what was happening today. Now, Speaking about today, Chiko Twala was in court today and took a jab on, uh, uh, on, on some of us who are creating content and saying that uh, the reason we are talking about him it is simply because we want views, we want subscribers. Uh -huh. That's why we are busy building our podcast. I've got so many videos about or oh, around Chiko Twala speaking hard, going hard on us. You know what I'm saying? It hurts, Mr. Chukotwal. We heard you. But nevertheless, we shall continue at the end of the day. Right? So I've got so many videos of Chukotwala. Uh, he had said a lot of things that it is worth your ears and it is worth your attention. So the first video, it's, it's a very long video. Oh, I'm going to have to place it here. The first video, Mr. Chukotwala speaks about... Um, Chukotwala speaks about... Um, the fact that, uh, you know what, uh, he's confident. Not the first video, but yeah, he was speaking about Longo Twala. Let's, let me just say, take a look at what the old Chico Twala has got to say here. You know, but one thing for sure, I don't care who says what. The says may you my, whatever they can do, they'll never find him guilty of that. They, Mr. Twala, Mr. Twala, there are, you know, information from the defense who seems to be your child, that your gun was taken for testing. Could you possibly shed light on that? My gun? Yes. yes, because it's normal practice. If my son was implicated, they said my gun was used. So the police have the right to take my firearm for ballistic test. It's a normal practice. So I wouldn't say no to the police if they want my firearm. I had to give them to make sure that it's cleared. There's no problems with my firearm. So some people said my firearm was stolen. My firearm was never stolen. I've had my firearm all my life. I've never reported my firearm stolen or it's all like people just abstracted a story from men's bedroom. rule. You know, with Twitter and social media, you find haters. People will all say all different kind of things of people they don't like. And then now people will just grab the stories and just inter Some people are even making money with this podcast and all that. Just uh, to attract people uh, to join, to subscribe and all that. So that's what is happening. Your second son is for you also openly concerned. How is he like? Is he anything like Longwood? Uh, look, he surprised me. He surprised me. Uh, he was not, I've never had issues with him. But uh, I decided that uh, they must both suffer the consequences because they were together. No, no, it's not. He it doesn't take drugs. How many times has Longwood been to rehab? More than 30 times. Private. Private government has been to rehab more than 30 times. I've, been, I've, been, I've even lost count. Can you say that you're giving up on him? I, I, honestly speaking, he's my son. I love him. I'd rather see him spending time in jail, whether it's life or what, than see him suffer in the streets or hurting other people. Judging by, by the remarks that you just mentioned regarding it won't affect my career. If I'm not, I'm here. I'm, I'm here with you guys. I'm not arrested. The police don't even. I would be arrested if there was a problem. For it's only haters, people who don't like me. But I don't have a problem. God loves me, you know. And there are people who love me out there. Those who hate me had luck. You understand? The sense of you are think. As we speak, I have a very good relationship with Senzo's mom. Yesterday I spoke to them. I spoke to Senzo's family all the time. And if Senzo's mom loves me and she accepts me as a son, I mean, who are they, those haters? I have a very good relationship with Senzo's mom. Even now when I live here, I'm going to talk to her. Did you have a relationship before? Is it possible after? I have a very good relationship with Senzo. And, 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 and hence, I took a responsibility that uh, it's I'm not dead because of my son or what. I have students that are not my kids, who are doctors, who are lawyers, that have assisted. Uh, so I always assist uh, disadvantaged, uh, especially young black people. So I don't actually see the problem if 
I have to assist Senzos Mom or anyone else. If they are not the first, I help a lot of people. Mr. Tola, where do you think maybe you have gone wrong with your point? In terms of uh, uh, upbringing, mm. there's, uh, to be honest with you, I think it is choice. It's never, uh, I mean, I don't drink, I don't smoke. And uh, I've never uh, uh, taken drugs or I've never, you know. I think it's, it's the choice that he made. And the choice that he made actually is the reason why I'm actually faced with so many cameras uh, and also exposed to the sense of my thing, you know, because uh, if it was not of him, and the choices that he made, I don't think I'll be in the situ situation that I'm in now. And Kelly, are you still in contact with her? How's your relationship now, Kelly Kumano? I, no, I, I wouldn't. I don't have a relationship with Kelly except that I was a producer, and uh, it ended there. Parting words. What if you were to say anything to your son right now, as he's uh, or to your sons rather, as they're about to make? Well, as a parent, I mean, he's my son. I loved him. I tried everything. If I didn't love him, I wouldn't have taken him to the airport more than 30 times. I did everything I could. Like I indicated before I left for the U.S., I sat him down, spoke to him, said, "You're under pressure. Everyone thinks you did this with sins and all that. Prove yourself. Here's an opportunity. Here's a studio, new equipment. Start working. You're a sound engineer." The man. It went in there, Zafuma up. So what must I do? I can't. And I told him it's the last chance I gave him. And uh, he thought maybe I was joking. So here we are. Do you know, do you know which court number you're attending? I think that there's the, they can tell you that side. I, I really don't know about the proceedings. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thank you so much. So let's dissect things one by one. First of all, Chico Twala um, spoke very boldly about uh, about uh, look about the the case in the Sons of Mayewa case and uh, how things are happening. Uh, spoke boldly about the fact that uh, no matter how they investigate, they will never connect Ulongo Twala to the matter of Sons of Mayewa, whether they like that or not. But then he then attack the defense as well, saying those are psychopaths, you know what I'm saying, in one of the videos. So I'm going to play those videos one by one, right? So for now, uh, we will, yeah, you, you know what? In this video, you will have to sit down, chill, relax, because wow. Because wow. It is very interesting listening to Chico Twala. Um, speaking the way he's speaking, right? Senor uh, Loco, Longwe Twala did not shoot Senzo Meiwa. I know he's a drug addict, but he will not have shot Senzo Meiwa. I'm like, hey, my God. He's a drug addict. You commit, you understand that he's a criminal. He steals for to fit his addictions, but at the end of the day, you categorically deny that he can shoot a person. And that's my problem. It's, it's a very, very serious problem. Uh, I have a very, 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 very serious problem with Chico Twala whenever he says that. Because, you know what? Um, there's something that we call it, it, it inevitability. When I say it is inevitable, it, it, uh, this is what I mean. I mean, it is an unavoidable. Character development is, uh, look, it, it is inevitable. You grow in everything that you are doing, Right. To say you can't kill a person just because you uh, look, you're uh, only stealing. Yeah, man, we have had a lot of stories where people started by stealing uh, small and things, and they. And in fact, I was listening to one guy who started by housebreaking. Uh, they, were, they used to do this housebreaking. Then the next thing, he was busy now uh, hijacking, and you know what I'm saying. Uh, the next thing, he found himself being a hitman. You know what he said? He said he hates these crimes because they always link you, you know, one way or the other. It's always easy to get caught. He jumped into a, a, being a hitman. So there you have Chikotola saying, hi, my son only steals. That's why I disagree with him. But wait, before we can go anywhere further. I do not, uh, I disagree with you now if you don't do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads. It's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, 
there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed so yes 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 so i want us to have a look at the video uh, the video um the video ga lomchitalo uchikotwala i want us to have a look at that video i, I told you there are about one two three four five six seven videos ga so i'm gonna have to give you all of them let's start with this one it's my son even if it was not a sense of me you are issue and all that mm -hmm. i think i'll be doing the same thing this has got nothing to do with senzo mm -hmm. and uh, regarding the senzo i know that he didn't mm -hmm. because i know him he's a thief he's a draggy but him shooting senzo what if it's nonsense whatever mm -hmm. people are saying about him i know he won't do that mm -hmm. yes and if i was protecting him why would i actually like i mean this man was in the street all his life is in the streets i only accept him there and there when he comes back from rehab but most of his time is in the street if I'm protecting him against maybe uh, him being my son, protecting mm. him, why would I leave him in the streets to suffer? Mm. If I, why am I actually opening a case uh, for him to be uh, imprisoned mm. if I, I'm protecting him uh, for the sense of my hero? Trust me, I'd be the happiest man mm. if he was the one who did it. I, I'd rather see him in jail than to see him suffer in the streets. Mm. You, you, said you, brought, you said you brought a witness with you. What is... The witness is it the person who was there? No, it's my helper. No, it's my helper. They just wanted to tell my helper. Just getting back, Baba, to the Sorry. Senzo Mayua case. I mean, there's been a lot of mention that uh, the defense will want to call you on the stand, and also an indication that they'll want uh, perhaps to call your son to the stand. Is this something that you're preparing for? Are you willing uh, to go to the stand? Do you think that Longwe will want to go and, uh, you know, give his version of events as well? Look, Longwe is an adult. I mm. think uh, if the defense or the police or the prosecutor, anyone wants him, I think they know where to find him. Uh, on my side, I don't even know why would I be going there. Mm. For what? I'm not, I was not there. I mean, the people who were in the house killing my son, they must be responsible for the action. If it's them, let, let the law take its course. Why must I go in up here? Mm. The defense, I think, in the sense of Mayua, they're just doing this for publicity and money. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, they, they, they don't have the interest in actually getting the truth about the censor. They are pointing at long way, uh, long way all the time. You know, I think it's all about fame and all that. For me, that's how I see it. Because if Longo was responsible, the first person. Look, I think the censor Mayua matter uh, was started by a Twitter account called Men's Not Bare Room. And then I think the guy wanted to actually be relevant and get people to su subscribe. Uh, it's unfortunate that all s most South Africans, especially haters, bought into his nonsense. If there's one thing I can tell you, my son will never do that. He will never. I, I didn't shoot Senzo. Uh, I've heard those two lawyers in Tefo and uh, Ngomezulu uh, making a lot of noise. I mean, they were not there. Who are they to actually say he shot Senzo, he shot himself and all that? I, they were not there. The people who were in the house, including my son, they know who shot Senzo. They cannot just come into the public and make lots and lots of noise as if they know what happened. If they knew what happened, we'll definitely knew 2014 when Senzo died. Why now they're telling us in 2024 that it's my son? You know, for me, I think, uh, not that I'm defending my son, but one thing for sure, I won't defend my son when you say he stole from you, because I know he's a thief. I won't defend my son if you say to me he's a drug, he, he, he takes drugs, because I know that he takes drugs. But if you said my son is a murderer, he shot someone, definitely, you are crazy. You are a crazy person. Mm -hmm. I'll tell anyone that, because I know it's not. The defense has indicated that they are likely uh, to want to call you to the stand, and also your son, Longwe. Are you willing to go to the stand? Uh, have they contacted you? And uh, will you be willing uh, just to settle this issue? Look, uh, uh, if... I'm a, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm not going to say no if I'm actually called by the state or the, the, that defense uh, to come and testify. And uh, also, if I come, I don't even know what I'm going to say because I was not in a crime scene. You know, uh, but look, like I said, I will abide. There's no problem with that. And uh, Longwe, do you think that uh, he can take the stand? Is he 
ready to take the stand? Look, I don't know about that guy because, uh, like I'm indicate, like I've said, you know, he's a druggie, and uh, probably if they keep him somewhere for about three, four months, whatever, if they want him to testify, he'll be able to handle that. But at this point in time, he's an adult. He must see to it, you know, how he, so he resolves his issues. I don't want to actually take responsibility for an adult. He's my son, yes, but he's, let's also take into consideration that he's an adult. I cannot be talking on his behalf. Yeah, him. You must face the music. I've already made my point that uh, character development is inevitable. I've already made my point when I look, I just told you about the story of a guy who was a hitman, who, who ended up being a hitman, but he did not start as a hitman. Then you have Chico Twala saying, just because my son is involved in drugs, you can only steal. How do you know? You yourself, you know, in one of the videos, he says that the man lives on the street. How do you know the things he gets up to when he is on the street? How do you know? You know what I'm saying? That's my worry. I get it. I hear what you're saying. But how do you know what he gets up to when you yourself, you don't know what he gets up to on the street, the people he meets, because you have just said he's always on the street. How do you know what he gets up to? That's our problem. Chikotola can scream and say anything that he says, but some of the things that he's saying, mm -mm, they are not make sure. Yeah, I know. Well, probably doesn't even like me. <laughs> you know, I'm listening to one of these videos there, and I'm like, hmm, I'm one of the people he doesn't like. It's a fact. But take a look at what he, <laughs> take a look at what he says. Here. The, what, the actions that I took now, I, I took it as a responsible parent. My son has been having problems with drugs. We, I mean, from way back in, uh, around 2000, I mean, when he was about 17 years old. So now he's 39 and he's still the same. Nothing has changed. He's been stealing from me. Uh, he's been doing a lot of stuff. He's been to more than 30 rehab centers, from one rehab to another. We've tried to assist him as a family. We tried everything that we could, and uh, he doesn't want to change. Uh, so uh, now, uh, I think on the 3rd of August, I went to the U.S. Uh, before my trip to the U.S., I had a meeting with my son, both of them, who are arrested here. And then they both sound engineers, you know, very good uh, engineers. I had a meeting with them because the other one, the elder one, long way, just came back from rehab. He was, he was looking good, he was okay. We spoke, he said, he must now focus on his career. He's an old man, he has to be responsible uh, and take care of the business that we have. Uh, he promised. I accepted him, but my sister brought him to me. He said, "Please, he's back now. He's okay." I said, "Okay, I will accept him." I left on the third of January. I mean, third of August to the U.S. Then I received calls that there's some stuff that's missing. He's going in and out and all that. But when I came back on the twenty-fourth, I found that a lot of my stuff was missing, and he was not. There was nowhere to be seen. Then I decided enough was enough. I had to actually get it. We spoke, he said, he must now focus on his career. He's an old man, he has to be responsible uh, and take care of the business that we have. Uh, he promised. I accepted him, but my sister brought him to me. He said, please, he's back now, he's okay. I said, okay, I'll accept him. I left on the 3rd of January, I mean 3rd of August, to the U.S. Then I received calls that there's some stuff that's missing, he's going in and out and all that. But when I came back on the 24th, I found that a lot of my stuff was missing and it was not, it was nowhere to be seen. Then I decided enough was enough. I had to actually get him arrested. So that's what it. Can you give me details in terms of what 
Well, look, he, he stole a lot of stuff. You know, I mean, for me to mention the stuff uh, that he stole, uh, look, uh, what I can say is the stuff he stole is worth more than two hundred thousand. More than. Look, uh, I think the law must take its course. He's my son. Yes, I love him, but I don't love. Not. But sorry. Sorry. So I have to Take its course. I mean, I, I wouldn't open a case. If I didn't want him to be disciplined. And again, you know what I'm saying? Again, uh, you see, the way Chikotona speaks, oh, he lost things. We get it, as he said. We get the fact that he lost things. We get the fact that, um, like he's saying that um, uh, he lost things. This guy has been stealing and, uh, you know what I'm saying? This and this has been happening. We, we get it. Wouldn't it be nice to know these are the things I lost? It's probably that or fourth interview. The things that got stolen are not named. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. The things that are stolen are not named. It's now the fourth time. Well, we're supposed to believe everything. Okay, let's say we're going to believe everything. Things got stolen. But Koninde Ofla. Go your uncle and Ole. Koninde Ofla. And I tell you the truth. Kukona into a Ofla. Kono Shire Mans. I can't put my finger on it, but man. In, you know. The sense of the, look, he calls the defense psychopath. You know, those are psychopath. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, he calls them psychopath. Ra. Why, my son, he didn't do that. The other defense are psychopath. Basically, how do you know, Edmund? I can ask a lot of questions, but mm, mm, Believe you me, gukona into a of la. But wait, let's just say anything. Take a look at what he's also said here. But what people say about this resume, I think. Yeah. I know my, the people who know my character who know me, they know me better. I don't want to be associated, I'm associated with haters on social media. You know, I'm a very responsible parent, and not because of the sense of me, I've been doing that for a long time. And uh, what the actions that I took now, I, t I took it as a responsible parent. My son has been having problems with drugs. I mean, from way back in uh, around 2000, I mean, when he was about 17 years old. So now he's 39 and he's still the same. Nothing has changed. He's been stealing from me. Uh, he's been doing a lot of stuff. He's been to more than 30 rehab centers, from one rehab to another. We've tried to assist him. As a family, we tried everything that we could, and uh, he doesn't want to change. Uh, so uh, now, uh, I think on the 3rd of August, I went to the U.S. Uh, before my trip to the U.S., I had a meeting with my son, both of them, who are arrested here. And then they both sound engineers, you know, very good uh, engineers. I had a meeting with them because the other one, the elder one, long way, just came back from rehab. He was, he was looking good. He was okay. We spoke. He said he must now focus on his career. He's an old man. He has to be responsible uh, and take care of the business that we have. Uh, he promised. I accepted him, but my sister brought him. To me, he said, please, his bag now is okay. He said, okay, I'll accept it. I left on the 3rd of January. I mean, 3rd of August. 
to the U.S. Then I received calls that there's some stuff that's missing, is going in and out and all that. But when I came back on the 24th, I found that a lot of my stuff was missing. I know they won't find him guilty for the sense of me. I know him. Longa has never carried a gun in his life. My son is a thief, he's a druggie. That's what he is. Long, my son, if, if someone says my son stole from him, I will say yes. But if someone said my son shot, Longa will never do that. He's not that kind of a character. He's never carried a gun in his entire life. The defense in the sense of me, especially the ones who accuse him of shooting, they are just psychopaths. They are mad. Let's proceed. Let's proceed a bit. Right. Okay. So, okay. Um, Ch Longo Twala is going to come back. You have heard your Chico Twala yourself. Uh, you know, the reason I thought I'm going to bring all of this together in one video is because I want you to listen it to yourself. Listen it yourself and judge it yourself. And tell me what you think. Personally, I'm not... There are things man, that I'm trying to make sense of here, but... They are not making sense so far. I just don't know how am I going to put them. Uh, yeah, but there, 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 there are things that I'm trying to make sense of here that just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense at all. Maybe it will to you. Maybe it does to you. Not it will, but maybe it does to you. But to me, there are things here that doesn't make sense at all. They are not making sense at all. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's just allow the story to develop. The 12th of September is just around the corner. Let's just allow the story to develop, keep developing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, tr look, uh, truth has got short legs, as they so, so Snobila will keep saying, so Snobila will say. But let's just watch the story. For now, let me end this video here.